What is going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. There's a new DLC coming out sometime this week which uh, gives us about uh, three new more, uh, three new more, three new more cars. Yeah, <laughs> I know I do English good. It's super early in the morning. Could not sleep. It's been thunderstorming. The cat is going crazy. The dog is barking. It's a rough night. So I figured why not record since I'm up. So the votes are in and y'all decided I should do a 100% time-lapse restoration of the Bolt Reptilia, a.k.a. Corvette Stingray. Ah, oh, it's going to be good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, yes, it's going to be good. Very good, very good. Now, as you can see, the parts are pretty beat. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, oh, it's so bad. Now, I purchased this car for $20,387. Uh, car value right now is 14 grand. So if we sell it right now, it's a losing profit. Our account balance right now is $202,755. So we're going to try and make some profit here, baby. We've got to try and do it. So let's get out of here. We'll move it up to the left lifter. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what do you say we get this time lapse on the road again? If it's silent in dismay, it won't break this feeling down. If I conquer this my way, I'd devour, I'd surround. If it hurts you just a little, then it heals you when it's done. Disappointment is the anchor, resolution is the sun. If it's silent in dismay, it won't break this feeling down. If I conquer this my way, I'd devour, I'd surround. If it hurts you just a little, then it heals you when it's done. Disappointment is the anchor, resolution is the sun.
And we're done, for the most part. Um, a lot of the times when you're uh, doing repairs on all of the parts, after you take it all apart, uh, there's a little bit of a chance, there's a little roll of the dice that you had uh, to do. And now, I do have it up to 90%, uh, but I was getting a crap roll of the dice. I had to repair, uh, I had to buy a whole brand new engine block. Most of the engine blocks on the, uh, let's see, like right here, like the engine head covers, uh, even the engine head cover right there as well. Uh, brand new wiring, things like that. There's, and uh, when it comes to, this, to uh, the Corvette Stingray, there's not a whole lot of parts uh, that are all kinds of crazy, like the rear suspension. Super simple, super easy. I mean, it's only a couple moving parts. You don't have all these different, uh, you know, small rubber bushings and and sway bars you had to worry about. All it is just one giant, giant suspension, you know. And uh, yeah, but most of these parts I had to purchase. They <laughs> they they were really giving me a crap roll of the dice when it came to the repairs. But after I sold all the parts and did the repairs. I'm down to 188,000, which means I spent $14,000 in parts. I've also uh, purchased uh, body parts and things already, so that's already taken care of. But we haven't done paint, and we have not done the rims, which is what we're going to do right now. Speaking of which, let's hop on in. Now, also, when it comes to uh, the Corvette Stingray or the Bolt Reptilia, uh, there's no body parts on the tuner shop for it, other than headlights, bumper, Headlights, bumper, taillights. That's it. No body parts, no hood, uh, no trunk. Nothing sexy. Nothing Nothing nice. Nothing pretty. But let's see what kind of rims we can put on this bad boy right here. Hmm. What to put? What to put? I kind of want to stick. I, I kind of want to rock and roll with the old rim retro. Hmm. Rim retro. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Now we're down to 184000 which means we have spent almost $18,000 so far on this particular build. So, let's put it in. Let's install it. Let's see what we've got over here. Ba-doop, boop, 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 boop. I had someone comment uh, earlier on this week saying I completely disagree with the way that you do your tires. I always put on, uh, when I take off a tire, I usually take the top one off and leave the left one on. That way it doesn't tilt out more. And I was like, well, uh, my grandfather taught me how to do it this way. So that's the reason why I know, that's why I do it this way. I'm not trained. I'm not mechanically uh, trained. I did not go to school for this. I have done no research whatsoever. Just what I have been taught. Through the years of being a child, yes. Okay. Let's bring this bad boy down. We'll put some body parts on it. And then we'll start painting it. Let's do it. So let's put this into the center. Good, good, good. Now those rims, they don't look all that super fancy. But you know what? For, for this kind of car, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh, I forgot to get rid of you. Get rid of you. Let's see what we can get for that. What I did was I accidentally sold all these parts, so I had to repurchase them back. So that's probably another reason why it's a little bit less. Like, say, how much? How much is this in the regular body part shop? Bolt ripped like four hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, uh, three hundred fifty. So I spent probably about a good mm, four hundred, four hundred, eight hundred, three fifty is eleven hundred. I mean, around thirteen hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars for just for body parts, just to get them all back. My bad, you know. You know so let's assemble the body. Boom. Nothing too fancy. It's all the basic stuff for the body. But you know what? Even though it's all the basic stuff, it still looks sleek. It still looks sexy. Now we do have to do uh, new bumpers. Oh, that's kind of spiffy. It adds a little bit of color in with it other than just a straight chrome. Oh, okay. Let's see the headlights. Oh, yeah. You're looking nice. I like it. Let's see what we have for the taillights and the bumper. Nice. Oh. Oh. Now that is looking pretty nice. Looking pretty sleek. But we're not done yet. We're not done. We got to throw it into the paint shop. 
Go ahead, don't you stop. Now, when it comes to Corvette Stingrays, it's my personal preference of what I believe a Corvette Stingray should look like. My favorite, my personal favorite. Of If I were to purchase one in my life, what color would I want it? And to me, Corvettes really only look good to me in three colors. Black, white, and cherry red. So we're going to go cherry red. What is this? Is this an update? Oh. This is different. This little ball right here. It's weird. I just noticed that now. Hmm. This finds the red. There we go. Let's get a little bright. Let's bring down the saturation just a little bit. I think I like that. Now, here is our car before. And after. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. That is sexy. Hold on, let's take a picture. Oh, yeah. You're so pretty, so sleek, so nice, so sexy. We're going to pick up so many ladies in this, you know what I mean? We're going to go cruising. The interior is looking nice. It's looking sleek. It's looking clean. We've got our nice rims here. Mmm. Ladies are going to be hooting and hollering us, baby. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. Now, just to make sure that I did everything correctly. And it looks like I did. And our car value is $72,820. So we purchased it for twenty grand. We put about, uh, let's see, said, almost nineteen grand into it. So we have $39,000 into it, and we're going to be walking out of here with seventy-two grand. That is a profit, folks. Folks? Folks? What is that? That's a profit of about $32,000, dollars which is a super high profit. So if you're uh, doing some restorations and trying to think of like the best way to make some cash on your restoration, Bolt Reptilia is up your alley because there's not a whole lot of parts, and I even got screwed. I got screwed out of a lot of uh, the repairs, so a lot of the expensive parts, like the engine block, which was $2,500, and $800 here, $800 there, a lot of expensive parts. So, let me tell you, I'm happy with this. We're going to sell this bad boy. We're selling it. Oh, yeah. $255,000 in the bank. Now, I had a choice last week of uh, two different cars to choose from. Yes. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do, for the next time-lapse restoration, I'm going to be putting in uh, the Audi. The Is it the Cayenne? The Mayan? Mayan? Mayan M8? Something like that. Uh, plus, I have a Royal GTR that I'm going to be restoring, and I'm going to keep that bad boy. But, there is a DLC coming out this week. It might even come out today. It's super early in the morning. Uh, so, it could be coming out you know, sometime this afternoon. And if it comes out tomorrow or Friday, I'm going to be checking out some new cars on the lot. See, this is actually pretty, this is pretty nice. But, what we're going to do, until the DLC pops out, this is going to be the next restoration. It is. As a matter of fact, let's move that car to the garage. We'll back out of the garage. These loading times, though, these loading times, though, need to get sped up. That needs to get updated. And they are working on that, so that's good. Good, 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 good. Ah, yes. Anytime now. And uh, the DLC has three different cars. It's called the Trader Pack. I think it's going to be like $1.99. Uh, hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's free and you can just go ahead and download it. And that would be super sexy, super nice. Considering I spent $1.99. It's $1.99 for the fine tuning mod. But yeah. Got a V8 engine. Oh. It's looking kind of nice. The Mayan M8. Now, with the Mayan M8, I spent forty-eight grand for this car. So this better be something that I'm, I'm going to be looking happy. I'm going to be happy, happy, happy camper. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to move this up to the other garage, we're going to move that up eventually. Oh, wait, we got we got a point to spend. Windows, rack, <laughs> oh, oh, I got to pick the rack, you know. Listen, you can't have a good shop without a decent rack. Blue, oh, black. Option 4, silk, chrome. I like that. Black is a little too black, you know. 
Chrome, that's sexy. That's super sexy. I'm liking it. So folks, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit like. If you want to see more of all the videos I have on my channel, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. I got the uh, new DLC pack is coming this week. So there's going to be three new cars. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be buying some. I'm going to be restoring them. They're going to look super sleek, super sexy. And do me a favor. I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers. If you enjoy this video, share it with your peoples and all your social media networks and all that fun stuff and fancy free. Uh, check it out. And I would appreciate that ever so much. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out like shout, and I will check you out right here again in Diesel's Mechanic Shop next time. Oh, you're going to be so sleek, so pretty. You have no idea.